teaching aids can be very simple. I have a penny in my pocket, and I can put a penny on my base knuckle, use a dime for a smaller player, and I just put the penny on the third panel, for example, if that's where I want the grip. I could tape my hand to the racket, or tape a player's hand to the racket. You can use a pencil, as I showed earlier, to help a player change grip, adjust grips. I had a chance many years ago to spend a lot of time with George Basho. George Basho used to come out to give a tennis lesson. He'd have a basket like this filled with tennis balls, and then he'd have another basket filled with teaching aids. Uh, let's do this for a minute. Guys, come on up here on the service line. They just have a cup of water, and let's see you go through the toss. They should not spill water. Okay, it's a motion that you make from your shoulder, that right left arm is slightly bent. Okay, now go back to the baseline, see if you can hit a forehand without spilling any water. Just lift up. All right, so that body doesn't pull open, you control your left arm. So something as simple as a cup of water. Guys, come on up here and set your cup down. Harrison, come on out here for a minute. On this side, Harrison. Harrison is hitting a one-handed backhand. If you come right out here on the baseline. I've just taken a ruler, taken an ace bandage, and taped it on his arm. Okay, just turn for the backhand. And then again. Actually, you want to come right up here so you, uh, you can hit the backhand this way for now, right on the service line. He's going to turn with his arm straight. Okay, turn more, show me your back. Now, when he really swings fast and swings upward, that arm would bend. But at the impact point, it's going to be straight. And you could take a cardboard, a piece of cardboard, cut it, and wrap it right around his arm. Okay, why don't you guys go over on that side with a bigger cup? Here's to go right up here by the net post. But imagination is greater than knowledge. Guys, let's see you uh, hit a forehand volley with the cup. Okay, bent to bent. Just show me the cup this way. It's a catching motion. And you got to get eye level to the shot. Take the take it out. Let's see, three in a row, and you win at the carnival. Two for two. You can add running to this. Three for three. You win the big teddy bear. Oh, we're going to go out of business at the carnival. But there's so many different things that you can use for teaching aids. Guys, come on over here for a minute. We'll go through the Beverly Hills tennis lesson. Come on over. Hustle on the job, guys. Harrison, you're in on this. Okay, Connor, let's have you take the Beverly Hills tennis lesson. You're going to turn for the forehand. Start right there in the ready position. Okay, Harrison, you're going to hold this right here for $100 an hour. Okay, and, and Chad, you're going to hold this right here for $100 an hour. Okay, actually a half hour. It's Beverly Hills. Ready position. Turn. You're not going to hit the yellow. Okay, you're going to be on this side of the yellow. Okay, now go underneath the green. And we're going to have three pros. That's why we call it the Beverly Hills Tennis Lesson. So he's going to make sure he doesn't have a big backswing. And Harrison, hold that a little bit lower. And let's see if he can get down low. Then over and over again. And one more. Looking good. Controlling that left side. All right. Those are a few ideas on teaching aids.